hello everyone welcome back to the class so in today's video as i told yesterday i'm going to start international accounting standards so in today's class we are going to study briefly about ias 39 so in the coming classes we'll study about 40 and 41 so let's start what is this international accounting standard number 39 so as I told you, the total accounting, international accounting standards are 41. So among them, 39, 40 and 41 are the most important uh, international accounting standards. So this IS 39, it deals with financial instrument, its recognition and measurement. So here, first of all, let's study the meaning of the financial instrument. What is the financial instrument? A financial instrument could be any document that represent an asset to one party and liability to another party. Now, what is this concept? What is an asset to one party and liability to another? So, you will get to clear this in the example. And it can be a contract, a document like bond, share, bill of exchange, future, option, check, currency, swap, draft, more. So now if see here, it is a document. Assume that financial instrument means it is a paper document or it is a paper contract. Now that represent an asset that represent an asset to one party and liability to another party. Now take an example of simple shares so shares so this person person a and person b so person a has purchased some shares in xyz limited so xyz limited in that company person a has purchased the shares to to this person this shares are asset why this shares are asset to him why because he will get some return on his investment so that is a kind of income to him so that these shares are a kind of asset to him but to this company xyz it is a kind of responsibility to return the amount taken from person a so this can be for the xyz limited liability uh, liability you understood right so for person a the shares in the xyz company are asset and for xyz company as this is a responsibility as it is a bonding responsibility on the company to return the money amount invested or to give returns or profits earn to person a this is a kind of responsibility a kind of liability for them to pay back the amount to person a so this is also a financial instrument so shares best example to clear the doubt is the best is shares so same here bond also so bond also person b if person b purchase xyz in xyz if it is purchasing if he is purchasing the share uh, bonds then also for person b it will be an asset for xyz company it will be a liability so now the meaning can be clear financial instrument could be any document it could be any contract it could be a paper document that represent an asset to one party and liability to the another party it can be a bond share bill of exchange it can be future option check so also you can take the example of the check also so if you have a check of rupees 2 lakh it is an asset for you for the bank it is a liability currency swaps draft etc so financial instrument it can be any document it can be any paper document it can be a contract that represent an asset to one party and liability to the another party the examples can be bond share bill of exchange future option check current check currency swaps etc now the uh, typically the type of financial instruments what are the type of financial instruments so the financial instruments have been divided into three types one is derivative cash 
and the third one is asset class so first here uh, in the examples also we saw some of the derivatives so here the derivatives can be we studied uh, it was there was futures there was swap there was option so here these three are represented in the stock exchange with the help of the index now what is this index index represents or it or it shows the changes in the value it shows or it measures the changes in the value so index is index is a terminology which measures the changes in the value of the derivatives so it is it is shown in the stock market what is the change in the contract what will be the change in the derivatives from when, when compared to the previous year and when compared to the current day or when compared to the previous month and compared to the present month or when compared to the previous year and compared to the current year so this is an index which shows, shows the changes in the value of the currency next is shares so all kind of shares are classified under derivatives next is cash so cash here means in terms of money what are the in terms of money which is deal is check and bonds so in the example we studied uh, all these examples now the examples have been divided it have been classified so derivatives index all the future swap and the option next is the derivative uh, shares in the cash in terms of uh, money bonds and checks next is asset class so debt based short and long term equity and forex so all kinds of short and long term debt so all kinds of repayable debt it can be a short or a long term it is classified under asset next is all kind of uh, equity all kind of equity next is foreign exchange so all kind of foreign currency is also being classified under asset so these are the three types of classification so one is one is derivative next is cash next is asset class so next <coughs> so what is the history of the ias 39 so when it was came into existence what it deals and how it is replaced so ias 39 that deals with the financial instrument recognition and measurement it was came into existence in the year 2005 so 2005 finally it came into existence but it was replaced by ifrs 30 sorry ifrs 9 in the year 2008 so 2005 6 67 so within 3 years this 39 ifrs 39 was replaced by ifrs 9 why because it was very complicated for the investors to understand so what is the uh, is 39 that is financial instruments recognition and measurement was very complicated it was very difficult to understand by the investors so it was replaced by ifrs 39 international financial reporting standard uh, 09 in the year 2008 So next is what is the scope and the applicability? What are the boundaries of this IS thirty nine? What it covers and what is the usability of this IS thirty nine? Where we can use this IS thirty nine? So first of all, let's discuss the scope. So scope here it applies to all the entities or all the organization except the following. So whatever the list is given here, except this. all other entities can use can use this is 39 so first of all which is the entity which is not suitable for the is 39 is those interest in subsidiaries associates and joint venture if the entities who are interested in subsidiaries who have subsidiary company or who the company is made by the associate or a company is a kind of joint venture so all the kind of uh, 
kind of uh, joint venture or joint business or any kind of branches subsidiaries these kind of entities cannot use iis 39 because it is excluded from the scope of the iis 39 next is rights and obligation under lease so any entity which has a kind of right or a obligation which are using the lease or any kind of lease company cannot use the iis 39 next is employee benefit plans so for employee benefit plans also the company cannot use iis 39 it cannot show employee benefit expenditure as a financial instrument it is excluded next is rights and obligation under insurance and any company which is a kind of insurance company the nature of the business is a insurance that kind of entities cannot use the iis 39 next is share based payments so for share based payments also this cannot be used so these all the terms which we have to discuss briefly in the coming slides so i won't go in deep with this terminologies so it is it is just important to remember what is excluded for the iis 39 so just remember all kind of uh you can say the partnership like subsidiary any kind of branches a company has a subsidiary company uh, or it has a joint venture or it is made of associate they cannot use is 39 and also if a company is having a lease insurance or any kind of employee benefit plans or any kind of share based payments they cannot use this plans now is a, a within some words i will explain you what is the share based payments for example your employees are working they are very good employee and they are considered to be an asset to your company now what you will do is instead of paying them in terms of money if instead of paying them salary you are paying them you are giving them some shares like for example if the uh, employee is uh, through him if your company has uh, um achieve some profits has achieve uh, some of the important goal uh, that employee is uh, help you to reach your goal then what you will do instead of paying him in terms of money paying him salary or paying him any kind of uh, uh, french benefits you are you are giving him some of the shares of your company like you have gave him five shares of your company that is called a share based payments you are giving him shares uh, in exchange of the work done by the employee that to a asset uh, asset you, you recognized him as asset of your company so that is called a share based payment so if any entity is having this kind of option for your employees then those companies also excluded for using the financial instrument why because the share based payments are excluded in the financial instrument it includes only the shares not the share based payments so next let's discuss the applicability where it can be used so it covers uh, in this one we have studied where it cannot be used right scope applies to all entities except the following so these entities cannot so these entities cannot use the is 39 now we are, are discussing which entities should use the is 39 so first of all it can be used by all commercial industrial business entities all kind of commercial industrial and business entities except small and medium size entity so here it means all kinds of long long term commercial industrial business entities are liable to follow the iis 39 so except small and medium size enterprise means here long here large size industries are liable to follow the iis 39 in that whose equity or debt securities are not listed so in that also large size large size industries 
large sized industries whose shares are not listed or are not in the process of listing in any kind of stock exchange whether in india or outside india so simple terms it is saying it is applicable to large scale industry whose shares are not listed in the stock exchange so large scale industries do shares any them adu listed aagbardu it should not be listed in the stock exchange it should be unlisted or it should not be in the process listed aagilla process nalli ide list maadbeku anta process nalli idrunu it cannot be applicable so india nalli aagbodu outside india nalli aagbodu the shares of the company should not be listed the second point is it should not be a bank it should not be a bank it, it should not be a bank any kind of nationalized bank private bank any company whose activity is a nature of the bank whose na- nature is uh, the business of a bank it includes the cooperative bank so for cooperative bank also in any kind of bank any kind of financial instru- uh, institution or any entity carrying on insurance business so we have learned this ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಮಾಡೋವಂಥ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಮತ್ತು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕೋಆಪ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅವ್ರ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ನ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇಟ್ಟು ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೀಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಮಿಜಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕೋ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ಇಂದ ಎಕ್ಸೀಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ದೋಸ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೊ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಕಾಂಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಅ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಅ ಪನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿ ಟು ದು ದ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿರೇವೆಟಿವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಆರ್ ಎಸ್ ನೈನ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಕೆನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದಿ ಐ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಡಿಯರೀಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೆಂಚರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೀಸ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶೇರ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ದ ಡೆಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ concepts we discussed today if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comments below or in the whatsapp group and do uh, i will share you the notes so it contains all the uh, this pdf contains all the notes of is 39 40 and 41 i'll share it once uh, at a time and i'll discuss it in the coming classes thank you